but we have a hell of a chance of winning in November. Our primary is uh, this coming Tuesday. We're not in the primary. We're totally independent. <clears throat> and what interest you may have in what how I do out there in that race is that we're going to take a giant leap. We're going to take a giant leap. We're going to go all the way to find out whether America still has a pulse or not. Yeah. And we're going to do it constitutionally. The United States Constitution does not provide you the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's in the Independence, Declaration of Independence. That's not law. So you don't officially have a right to that under federal law. But Kentucky has a Constitution also, just like all the other states do. But it just so happens that Kentucky's Constitution is the most pro-people Constitution ever written that our people back in 1890 got so tired of being raped by the railroad companies that they wrote a constitution that protected the people and kept corporations from being running roughshod over everybody. And even now, that's beginning to fracture as our legislature keeps selling out to, to the, uh, <clears throat> to the uh, folks that I call the petrochemical, pharmaceutical, military, industrial, transnational, corporate, fascist, elite, son of a bitches. <laughs> So uh, <clears throat> what's going to happen is that the very first section of Kentucky's Constitution ensures that its citizens constitutionally are endowed with the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's the number one section in Kentucky Constitution, so I feel obliged to make it the number one basis of policy for my relationship of government to the people in the state of Kentucky. I'm going to get it off of their backs. I'm going to take it out of the bedrooms and the bloodstreams and the brains and the bladders and the billfolds and the back pockets and the internet bulletin boards and put them back in the little box where they belong. I'm going to make government not a burden on the people. I think it's the role of government to uplift, enlighten, educate, and endow people with an appreciation of life, appreciation of the social compact, their civil duties, their civil responsibilities, and make sure that we address them as sovereign human beings, capable of making their own decisions. So if we can do this, if I can win this, it's going to be bigger than Ventura. It'll be next to Obama's election because there is no, there was a, an independent elected governor of Rhode Island in this past one, the first one elected in 150 years, but he had been a state senator. He had been a federal uh, U.S. senator from the state of Rhode Island, so he had that base. Okay, but we'll be the first truly independent ticket ever to uh, ever to uh, win governor in the state of Kentucky uh, in the last 150 years. So uh, we have uh, my, I've got a website called Gatewood.com. Um, I'm a criminal defense attorney out of Lexington. I handle criminal cases. And I'd like to represent a lottery winner or two. If any of y'all know who you are out there. If you're, if you're a big dog and, and you're hanging out on millions, here's a good place to, uh, to give me a fee and let me get on down the road on this campaign. If you can drop something, 5, 10, 20 bucks in on gatewood.com, I appreciate you doing it. I'll send you a copy of my book. <coughs> uh, an ex-governor of the state of Kentucky said it was the best statement of freedom in America that he'd ever read. On the same day, an 18-year-old girl from the middle of the mountains called me, said she had read it twice previous week, and it was the number one seller at Joseph Beth's top independent bookstore in America for 11, month, 11 weeks. So uh, I left out 100% of the sex and 80% of the drugs, but it's still a kick-ass read. <laughs>